All right, let's clear all the CREX stages, starting from the first one. First one, challenge bot, we can use this type of squad, just two casters and one ranger guard. Device just to take this one for reinforcement and the mine deployer. Let's do this. Remember to bring more units to help you, especially casters. Or heli drops without damage. Anyways, first of all, immediately wait a bit, then deploy mine deployer here, face on left side, then reinforce this wall in the center. And then just deploy caster here, face on top side, to kill these enemies. Reinforce the ball again before it dies. Then a mine deployer here, face on bottom side. And then a mine deployer here, face on bottom side as well. Here, if, you, if you're using click just like me, which with the skill will increase the attack range, then kill this fat enemy first. And then kill the other one. Even if you don't have click, it's fine because the enemy will just come down. Now retreat to this one, deploy this caster here, face on left side. Deploy this ranger guard here, face on top side. Reinforce this wall here. And reinforce this wall here as well. Now just wait. Wait for this enemy to come here. You can let this enemy to destroy this wall here. Nothing to worry about, to be honest. Just let this caster to kill this enemy first. The grenade will kill. Uh, most of them, and then your caster can slowly, slowly kill the last few. Okay, retreat. The miner will kill. Now you can retreat this miner here, face on left side. So you have this tile free. And just wait for the enemies to spawn from top right side, here. When most of them are spawned, just to deploy the caster here face on bottom side, so enemies will attack it, making this BOOM explode, and you will deal tons of damage. Now just activate the ranger guard skill to deal more damage to these enemies. Now this mine will hit this one, because this one is invisible, but when it's about to attack, it will become invisible. Just like this. So you can slowly slowly kill. Now you can deploy this caster here face on bottom side. Nice. And then just reinforce this wall again before it dies. And then this ranger guard will die, but it's fine. At this point, uh, deploy this caster here face on the right side. And let this enemy to destroy this barricade. Yeah, barricade. We can retreat this one, no need anymore. And after that one destroys the barricade, we'll either here on this position for a while. So your two casters can just uh, all in DPS in. Perfect. Super easy stage. Next stage, CREX2. Challenge mode, this stage is really simple, we just need the Ifrit from the support unit, and then a Flag Vanguard, two defenders, one uh, Medic. And one ranger guard with arts damage. You just need uh, this one for the reinforcement. The second one, don't. Yeah, if you want this one to block some bullets, but then don't be, don't bring the um, stunning grenade. That's too risky because the stunning grenade has may be the imposter causing the failure of the stage. So be careful. First of all, you need the flag vanguard here to wait faster. Get DP. Ranger guard here, face on left side. Defender to block. And keep wait. Ifrit here in the middle, face on left side. This is the perfect Ifrit tile. I guess you already noticed. A medic here to heal up. And in the end, just barricade this. Uh, uh, reinforce this barricade on top side. So both here are reinforced. In the end, a defender here to help block, because later there are enemies who can stun the mid-defender, so enemies will go to this defender. Now you can deploy, for example, this one uh, yeah, here in the center, to help block some stronger bullets later. 
from the stunning enemies so just like that so you have this one this thing can help block the bullets so we'll not stun our defender in the middle but it's not really necessary even without you can still do it important is that you can keep this barricade and this barricade uh, reinforced here just use a ranger guardians them to kill this uh, defense crusher faster A half stage done, just to keep wait. The main reason to don't use the standing grenade is because I normally use the standing grenade, for example, from here face on the upside or here face on right side, right? And but the problem is that uh, if you the standing grenade stick the grenade on an enemy too close to this device, it will make it make it explode, killing instant shotting all these units. So be careful. Now in the middle, uh, another defense crusher, just to kill them. Because else we'll go on bottom side trying to kill that one. After kill, just to keep reinforce this one, for example. Bam, back to full HP. <laughs> enemies incoming. This is the last eight, actually seven enemies. Just activated the healing, activate the defender skill, and kill the last enemy now here. You can deploy this one here to stop the stunning. Here we go. Super easy stage. Next stage, CREX3. Challenge mode. The operator we're going to use is Corporator Blazer from the support unit. I will just use my own since it's two level below the support unit I could find without module. Then we need the reinforcement and the mine deployer. Flagvanger to gain DP, Caster, Medic and a strong Defender. That's all we need, let's do this. Stage is not uh, that different from the EFK one. Mm, it's just because uh, you need a um, Medic plus a Defender. On the EFK one, Sarah alone could block uh, all the damage already, but uh, here we needed the help from the Medic. Anyways, immediately deploy Flagvanger there to gain DP, then place a here face on left side. Mine Thrower here face on left side. Mine Deployer, it's cold. Then deploy the medic uh, right here, face on top side, and then just wait for DP. Don't deploy anyone else yet. If you deploy the caster and the caster damage these uh, grenade launchers, they will throw it uh, and it, you risk to make this explode. So be careful. Only when uh, a lot of MC in are incoming, Blazer kills most of them. Uh, you can see. And when they start to move, uh, you deploy down uh, the defender. So the defender will block them and they will not throw the grenade anymore because they will throw, throw the grenade only when they are not blocked and get damaged. Now just uh, in, reinforce this one, reinforce this one and reinforce the third one as well. No time, uh, I mean no timing with this uh, mine uh, deployer just deploy this uh, before and charge it before the enemies spawns and then uh, all the enemies spawning from here will uh, throw the grenades before they can reach uh, the front line now just to focus on the last wave because there is a strong uh, enemy who can deal tons of damage just activate your defender skill and medic in case you have plus the caster skill This one. Meteos Guard. Now they will reach in the front line. This one will do AoE attack, AoE damage. And then. When he's about to reach the defender, activate the defender skill to tank less damage, activate the caster skill to deal more earth damage to the enemy, and then slowly slowly kill. Once the defend this enemy is blocked, uh, yeah, as long as you have a pretty good defender, you shouldn't be one shot. You can see the damage is half HP around there, but your medic will be able to heal up. Here we go, super easy stage. 
Next stage, CREX4. Challenge mode, this time we're gonna use Corporator from the support unit, Golden Glow from uh, third skill. If you can with the model as well, uh, since all the Golden Glow I find is, are too strong, I will just use my own without module. Low path. Just uh, important is the third skill. Then devices you can bring over whichever you want. Uh, is the same and then uh, normal vanguard, flag vanguard, single block vanguard, medic, defender and uh, enemy defender. That's all we need. Let's do this. First of all, immediately deploy flag vanguard here to gain DP. Then uh, this vanguard here to also gain DP. Kill. And then uh, let's... Uh, uh, we don't have that. So, okay, let's deploy this uh, single block of Vanguard to help uh, kill this dog for a moment. Golden Glow here, facing the upside. Retreat this Vanguard before she dies uh, to get some DP back. Get more DP here. Deploy the Medic here, facing the upside to heal up. And then activate a Golden Glow skill to help uh, kill this dog. The skill will help uh, kill some of, some of the enemies uh, spawning now as well. Now deploy this defender here to help block the shootings from this enemy. Then a defender here to help block as well. We can retreat this vanguard. This defender is mainly to block the arrows going toward our Sasuro, since she is super squishy, so she gets one shot by this arrow enemy. Now you can use the skill again if you want, or you can just keep it for later. If this defender dies, then just retreat and then replace it using this other unit. Because there are still arrow, purple arrow enemies spawning from here, who will pass by here, so we'll target our Sasura. Now the devices you took, maybe you can deploy a um, stunning grenade here based on the upside. You can reinforce, um, doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh yeah forgot about this enemy here. Anyways, you can bait the arrow. Now, activate the Golden Glow skill. Kill all the enemies. Now we kill this mortar enemy. That's the most important one. Then we kill this one every time he appears. Nice. He didn't kill, but will slowly, slowly be killed by the poison as well. And about this last defense crush, I'll just wait a golden glow skill again. He's the last enemy. On this stage, a few enemies, but the stage is still a lot yeah, super hard because of the map layout. And their spawn order. Anyways, here we go. Super easy. Next stage, CREX5, challenge mode. Uh, this time we're going to use a Corvator Soldier from the support unit if you don't have your own. So Soldier third skill. And then devices just to bring the temporary cover and a mine deploy. Flag Vanguard. Mm, medic Defender, Defender, two Medics and a Puller. That's all we need. Let's do this. Super easy stage. First of all, Flag Vanguard here to gain TP. And then just to wait. Don't activate the skill yet. Wait until you get enough to deploy down the Medic Defender here to block this enemy. Or if you want, you can bring a f single block of anger as well. When you have enough, soldier here. Press right side. Puller here, face on bottom side. Medic here, face on right side. And I'm gonna hero face on right side. Now wait for this enemy to get uh, dragged into the hole. And when this enemy dies, immediately grenade, uh, I mean mine deploy your hero face on right side. Then just deploy a defender here to block the enemies here so the puller can pull them into the hole, get more DP. Okay, the grenades are here, just got a throw and uh, yeah, damage it here.
Don't activate the soldier skill, huh? Be careful. Keep a soldier skill for the last wave. Now this big one spawn. Deploy now this... Uh, um, how to say? Oh yeah, this one cannot be blocked. Now de deploy another mine. Actually wait. Wait a bit. Around now you can deploy the second mine here. Place on right side to make this one explode as well. Because also there are two of them on bottom side. Activate the soldier skill when you see soldier is about to die. Nice, to kill all these enemies. Activate the burst of healing to keep soldier alive, to kill this other one, retreat this one and deploy this uh, device to help block the bullets. Here, just use auto attack, boom, to make him throw the grenade. This one dies, perfect. Last one, just wait for him to get dragged into the hole. And here we go. Super easy stage. Next stage, CREX 6. This one is a um, bit hard, but anyways, the corvette we're going to use uh, is a Virtuosa from the support unit. Third skill important. Then, uh, devices important is that you take the temporary cover. Mind deployer if you want, the second one. Then, a flag vanguard. Uh, two defenders, tanky defenders, one strong medic. Steward is really important because we need to attack enemies with the highest defense first. So steward. And in the end, gravel is for emergency situations. I don't use her, but it's better if you bring. Let's do this. Really simple, by the way. First of all, immediately flag vanguard here to gain TP. Then on top side, when this... Sniper is around here, Defender. Bottom side as well, when the Sniper is there, Defender. Now wait, deploy Steward to kill this enemy first. Here, place on left side. This one is uh, super annoying, so must kill first. And then get more DP. Medic to heal last. Here, face on left side. Don't deploy Virtuosa yet, because as long as you don't touch this enemy, so you don't hit them, they will not throw the grenade. The, uh, how to say, the mechanic for them to throw the grenade is when they are not blocked and when they are damaged, so these two. Which means, uh, just wait them to get blocked by the defender and at that case, even if you damage them, they will not throw the grenade, so block them first. While the top side too will just suicide because uh, it's a small feature of Arknights. When in the corner there's already an enemy and more enemies are incoming from the corner, so diagonally, they will get pushed, so in this case there is a hole, they will, they will get pushed into the hole. Just look at this. Oh, suicided. Here again. Ugh, suicided. <laughs> So when the bottom side the two are blocked, Virtuosa here face on right side. You can retreat the steward once you kill the heal. And then just to kill down using the necrosis damage. Here prepare a um, temporary cover. Retreat the flag vanguard. Temporary cover to block the stunning arrows for Virtuosa. Top side one will hit but cannot one shot, so it's fine. Don't worry about that. Now the only problem is this other one. This one, you're really annoying. This can literally one shot your. Uh, how to say? Uh, your Quora, full HP Quora. Here, activate this operator, Medic Defender, so the Medic can focus on healing on top side because it's arts damage, so really annoying. This enemy will idle here for a moment and then will go inside. Just activate the Virtual Skill when it reaches here, so the Necrosis damage, Necrosis um, explosion can reduce its attack, so cannot uh, one shot our Quora anymore. Around now, activate the Virtuosa skill to reduce the attack. This enemy uh, will stun, yes, our defender, but will wake up in time to block. If you are afraid, just deploy the first deploy for a moment to help block a uh, uh, yeah, moment. You can see, when this enemy is debuffed, cannot one-shot our defender, you can even activate the Quora skill to... Uh, to like, have 100% sure, so this enemy cannot one-shot. Just remember the timing for Virtuosa. Now, let's keep go. Virtuosa skill will kill them. And the last, these last two enemies are not a really big problem. Don't deploy the mine deployer yet. Deploy this one here. 
the cover to protect a bit our Virtuosa. This one will shoot, but when it reaches here, so we'll not uh, hit our Virtuosa, you can see. Here, activate the healing. Now, and now deploy Castle Hero Face on top side. Only when this enemy is blocked, you can deploy the mind deploy your Hero Face on right side to help stun a bit to reduce the healing pressure. Well, on top side, just wait for the skill to be activated. And then activate the Quora skill to tank less, da uh, yeah, tank less damage. If you deploy the stun grenade before this enemy comes here, the timing will fuck it up. The enemy, before touching the defender, will shoot, killing your medic, and then your. Uh, yeah, you don't have a healing anymore. So don't deploy the grenade launcher before the enemy gets blocked first. Now we'll try the skill to kill this enemy. And here we go. Super easy stage. Next stage, CREX 7 challenge mode. We're going to use again Corroborator Virtuosa from the support unit. So let's take this one. Then we need the devices, the first and the second one. So the reinforcement and the temporary recover. Then after this, we just need um, Flag Vanguard to gain DP. Flag Vanguard to gain DP, then uh, two of your tankiest defenders, one strong caster, uh, two of your best medics, one fast deployed defensive one. Last a few slots, up to you. You can bring whoever you want to help you. On this stage, these enemies, when they are not blocked, they will take a lot reduced damage and because of the challenge mode condition. So the necrosis damage is the best way to counter them, since it's uh, another way we can say of true damage. First of all, Flag Vanguard here to gain DP, then uh, Virtuous a hero face on bottom side. Then deploy Defender here to block the enemies. Prepare the um, cover here. And then uh, deploy another cover below Virtuosa. So 10 covers, uh, I mean 8 covers in total to protect uh, here. Else the AoE damage launched by these enemies will kill Virtuosa. Now when Virtuosa's skill is ready, just immediately activate it. Um, and then reinforce uh, this wall here. Now just wait. Get the pit. Fast here, press on bottom side. Fast deploy here to push this enemy a bit behind. This is really important to slow down the second one. The first one you can don't care, but the second one you must delay it a bit because also will cause a lot of problems here later. Now medic here, press on left side. Okay, we get DP. Okay. Now medic here, face on bottom side. When his enemy is about to move, delay him even more. And then retreat before enemy shoots. Because else the OE damage will try to kill this uh, thing. And just keep going, waiting for Virtuosa skill. Activate this caster skill so when this enemy gets blocked by the barricade, will be killed by our caster. In theory, you can you don't even need to use the device to reinforce it because it cannot kill. Now push this enemy a bit behind again. You can see. If you think that you will need because you're you're not using click so cannot stun, then just reinforce it. Huh? Don't force yourself, don't save it, it's, um, yeah, even if you save it, it doesn't help. Now you can deploy the defender here to block the enemies incoming. If you can retreat the flag vanguard, just keep waiting and get more DP. His enemy now will move to this tile, just to push back again. Pew! So now he's counted inside this tile of Virtuosa, so now with the skill of Virtuosa we can just kill him. Else he will come uh, here, then go here and cause a lot of problems. So we just uh, kill him now using the necrosis damage. So we're not to go to right side anymore, you can see. And this last bullet will uh, uh, protect here. And then here we go. Enemy is dead. Now here on top side, just activate the defender skill. This enemy, if you activate the virtual skill with the correct timing, this enemy, the hammer, will be, how to say, uh, have really low attack because of the necrosis. But just in case, deploy the first deploy to block a moment. While on bottom side, this grenade enemy will be blocked before this other enemy gets killed. So we'll not launch the grenade. Now let's just keep going. You still have one of the reinforcements. 
thingy. Just use it uh, wherever you want. Here another incoming, but this one will either here for pretty long, so Virtuosa can reduce a bit the necrosis. Will not explode though, will explode when reaching here. You can see. So the attack is reduced a lot, uh, by the way. Just give it to the burst of healing. When it's even when it's reduced, uh, can still almost one shot my core, and uh, you can already see how strong is this one. Now this enemy here just uh, use this one to attack, uh, so we'll throw the grenade. Uh, but later will be blocked here. Here just uh, yeah, just uh, don't uh, kill too fast, so the second one will come here, gets blocked, uh, and uh, later even if it gets damaged, will not uh, throw the grenade. Now activate the virtual skill again. This is the last wave. Uh, and this third one, last one incoming, but this one is blocked. Uh, so we'll get blocked before getting damaged. And then you can just slowly slowly kick straight to death. Cast a skill. And here we go. Oh, finally, last stage, uh, CREX 8. Uh, boss stage challenge mode, let's just do it. Core operator we're going to use will be Mlinar from the supper unit. Max the level, so you will have my same damage. Just take a max level one. This is only pot one. And then uh, uh, devices, just to pick uh, the first one and third one. So the reinforcement and the mine deployer. Then the flag vanguard, two of your best uh, casters. Uh, the second one must be above 1250 HP to survive uh, one of the explosion. Then uh, three of your best medics, uh, tanky defender, tanky defender in terms of HP, uh, I mean uh, uh, defense. Fast deploy defensive one, heli drop with uh, good arts damage, just like uh, Yutage. Uh, Ranged guard with arts damage. Last slot, just to bring up whatever you want, and let's do this. Super hard stage, but not hard for me. Following my steps will make it a lot easier for you as well. So, first of all, Plague Vanguard here to wait faster. Then, summon your Mlinar here, face on topside. Let's wait to 12 DP. Okay. Then, get a DP from this Vanguard. Then, deploy your first uh, uh, defender on this position. And when you have enough DP, just deploy immediately the Miner here, face on the upside, to help uh, kill these Doggos. And then, when the third Doggo is here, just deploy the first deploy here to help uh, kill them. Now get more DP. Caster here face on top side. You can retreat now at this point to the fast deploy. Medic here face on top side. Marina skill is ready. You can see fully charged with this uh, uh, ring on the head. And when this uh, defense uh, crash response on the hammer dude, activate the Marina skill to kill. Now Ranger uh, Medic here face on right side. Fast deploy here to let this enemy trigger this bomb and kill it, opening this pet. So enemies will go now later from this way. Well, on the mid side, all good. Boss spawned, nothing to worry about. When the boss, uh, when Mlinar killed this enemy, just retreat. And we keep with. Uh, here, try to deploy a caster uh, without too strong skill. For example, Aya. Don't use Aya second skill, but pick Aya third skill. Use it uh, when the boss is not uh, here. So don't use the boss. Don't use uh, Aya skill when the boss is uh, here. So basically, don't overkill the boss. Just use the skill when this defender is about to come. And then bottom side, all good. You can retreat the fast uh, flag vanguard. Just keep going. And boss uh, delay a bit the boss using the fast deploy defensive one. So gravel. Pushing back a bit. Use this one to kill on this position or this position. So at least the boss will not shoot the uh, bullets. If you deploy here, the boss will kill. So just a hit here to kill this enemy. On the left side, make sure that you can kill the enemies. So, retreat. And when all of them are inside the, the caster attacker range, just, just deploy this defender here. On top side, let's delay a bit uh, the boss uh, even more using the fast deploy. Okay. And when Mlinar is ready, and when boss is not on this row, deploy Mlinar here face on top side to kill these enemies as well. Now, waiting the boss to go on this defender row. I mean, column, not a row. Column. So when you see the boss is using the skill on this defender, deploy the medic here, face on top side to heal up. This way we'll not one shot, and the boss will just do a one auto attack. Kill, we'll go downside. The boss will be stunned by the bomb, and when the boss is stunned, deploy, fast deploy here on top side. The boss is not on this tile anymore, so the boss is not blocked. 
which means when he wakes up, we'll use the bullet skill, bullet skill on this fast deploy instead of the defender. Because remember, this skill will reduce 100 permanently defense from uh, the target. And the Cardigan, who already has really low defense, if uh, you reduce even more, the boss can one shot. Already super hard to keep alive even using two medics. Don't let the boss use that uh, defense decrease. Now, range the guard here face on top side, this one here face on right side. Uh, caster. Then, uh, Molinar skill when he's fully charged to kill these two enemies. And uh, let's focus on left side. Don't overkill the boss, which means if you have Aya, don't use Aya skill. Just a slowly, slowly kill the boss until the boss HP is really low. For now, let's just keep going. After Mina killed, I'm oh, good, don't do anything, just wait, uh, the, just wait him to charge the skill one more time. On left side, slowly, slowly kill. We need to keep uh, the boss like really low HP and then let him walk. If you kill the boss before he arrives on this uh, yellow tide, then the boss will uh, fly with. But if you kill the boss first phase after he is outside of this tile, he will just revive on the tile where he dies. First phase. And then the boss will idle here for really long. We must kill the boss first phase after he is around this tile. It's better to kill when the boss is blocked by this device. Because the boss during the second phase will take lower damage, reduce the damage by 40% when he's not blocked. Just like his servants, the other enemies, right? So we like uh, take 40% less damage if he's not blocked. That's why we need to block first. At least this way we don't waste Mlinar's skill damage. Now let's uh, slowly, slowly reduce the HP to around... Let me see... A bit more... No. This amount of HP is enough. Now wait this one to stun one more time. After the boss is stunned... Actually stun a bit more. One more time. Uh, no, it's fine. Deploy first deploy here first on top side and then retreat the defender. So the boss will use the bullet skill on the fast deploy instead of the medic. A pew 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 pew. Okay. Now the boss will work on this tile, use the skill immediately on toward this medic instead of this one. You can see. And then will idle in the center of this tile for 15 seconds. So just take one of the operators you retreated as timer and count 15 seconds. For example now... Okay. Started from 44 half seconds, so 45. Around 30 seconds we needed to prepare. Because else the boss, when walking her away from here, will we'll use the skill on Sasura once in range, killing her using the bullet skill. We don't want that to happen, right? So just wait. When the boss starts to move, so you can see, after 15 seconds, deploy the first deploy here. Let the boss use the bullet skill on him instead, on her instead. So this way we'll just leave this operator alone. And then we'll idle here for other some time. Okay, it's around when... Um, here in May, if I remember, we'll idle longer respect uh, here. But anyways, now this castle is ready, because on top side. You can retreat, you can deploy already the flag, uh, flag vanguard here. Now when the boss is uh, about to move, um, you can see he's longer, huh? Don't deploy the defender yet in this case, just to keep this uh, deployment limit. When the boss is about to move, uh, play on speed 1. Okay, deploy the first deploy, so the boss will use the bullet skill on this one. And then retreat. Now the boss uh, is blocked. Just activate the range of the guard skill using earth damage to kill the boss. Deploy down the defender here face on top side. First phase, kill. Barricade. Just uh, reinforce it. Second phase, more enemies will spawn. This one let uh, Mirdo do one hit. So awaken the bomb. And then activate the skill. The bomb will not uh, kill. We must do this, because else this castle will hit, uh, if you don't have an operator here, the bomb will go here, AoE damage, two enemies, uh, two this type of enemies will kill her. So we must do this. Now wait just a bit, a few seconds, and then activate Mlinar skill. Let's kill. Now these HPs are still, can still tank one hit. You can retreat the flag uh, actually, yeah, you can retreat the flag vanguard. Let's deploy the... First, uh, heli drop uh, arts damage to help a kill. Repair the barricade again. Activate uh, this caster skill when this enemy spawns. And just wait to kill the boss first phase. So, by, with this timing of Mlinar activation, uh, the boss will use the skill of uh, calling his uh, servants to this position. And just wait. The boss first phase, dead. Perfect. You can retreat to this one. You can deploy 
Now, first triple heal face on right side. We activate this bomb attack as well. Also blocking the bomb. No, perfect. Buff bomb activated. This uh, caster is uh, all safe. Now deploy the defender here to block the future enemies. And you can retreat this ranger guard as well. Now this one will destroy it. Then we'll go from bottom side to Quora. Uh, this caster in theory can kill this defense crusher. In case it cannot kill, it's fine. Uh, Mineral will be able to charge the skill in time. Just uh, at least just block a bit uh, using the fast deploy. This is the same. Huh? Now here activate the burst of healing until you have this uh, skill ready. Now this one will destroy here. So later this defense crusher will go from here, going to top side. Activate uh, caster skill again when he's ready. Now this is the third enemy. Just activate the winner skill. Okay, defender skill. Here activate the caster skill to kill faster. Minor skill when this uh, defender is uh, starting to move, I mean defense crusher is starting to move. Minor skill will kill all of them, pop, 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 pop. they are dead. Perfect. Now you can retreat to this, uh, uh, this one. This one will be, in case you cannot kill, just deploy the heli drop and then, oops, and then first deploy to block a moment. So the heli drop damage you can kill. If you have a stronger caster here, you will probably kill. Now we can focus on the last four enemies. So Ranger Guard here, face on top side. This one will stun. Medic here, face on left side. Just deploy Flag Vanguard here as well to help block for a moment. And then let's kill the last few enemies. Super easy clear. A bit complicated, a lot of steps to do, but still super easy. Nice. So that's it. Hope this video helped you to complete all the CREX stages. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!